morning. Happy Monday. Well, it's not happy for me right now because I'm tired. But it is January 9th, and my girls go back to school today. Haley is already gone. Alyssa is eating right now, and she'll be going. But today is going to be a busy day. It's going to be busy, not with work, but with things I'm doing around the house. There's also a live stream, and um, there's just little stuff that I have to do. So I'm just going to not complain about it, just get it done. Um, but I do want to show you guys what it looks like in my planner because the last time I did a um, day in the life, it was December, and I wasn't using um, this planner yet. So I want to show you guys what it's looking like in my inkwell press. So this is my inkwell press in my beautiful rose gold deluxe cover. Um, and this is just today. <laughs> Um, back to school, Haley up at 6, done. Hey, Alyssa up at 7, done. Um, I have to fit in a workout somewhere today. It'll get done. I'm not worried about the time. I just know it'll get done. Um, clean the house. Um, check the happy planner, which I will. Check my goals and make sure I get some self-care in here today. That is, like, huge. Making sure I get some self-care. Um, I'm going to work. Like, if I get too overwhelmed with whatever I'm doing around the house, I will just take a step back. Make bed. My goal is to make my bed. Now, this may seem very natural for you to do to make your bed, um, but when you have, you know, a mental illness, making the bed is huge. Um, regular schedule for Haley. They usually get out early on Mondays, but since it's a new semester and they have new schedules, it's a regular bell schedule. And make sure I take my meds. So, my house is a little bit on the dusty side, so I'm going to go through the rooms and mop and, and clean things off. And that's the thing that's going to take the most time. But I'm just going to take my time and do it, not try to rush. So this is on Monday. Monday is pretty full. full. And I put out, originally I was going to do a live stream tomorrow. But Aaron is out of town. Um, and he comes back tomorrow. And I don't know what time he's coming back. So I don't want to be in the middle of my stream when he comes back. So I just did this cute little zigzag arrow <laughs> right here. Um, but yeah, this is all today. And yeah, this is, I tr you know what? I try to do day planning and I, I just can't I, I had to go back to filling out the week when I know things are gonna happen I tried the day planning for two weeks yeah and I, I just really need to do you know a week at a time you know write down the things that I know are gonna happen and then fill it in once the day gets here there's more things I need to go but yeah that is my Monday you know a lot about how I want this month's a week in a life to go and a lap and last month I showed um, you know a lot of just work and how I work out of my planners which is if you ever want to see how I utilize my planners throughout the day just watch a week in the life video because I show those but I think I, I may show a little bit of personal stuff like things I'm doing around the house so you kind of know just what I'm doing and whatnot so we'll see we'll see how this goes I don't want to my last video is like 30 minutes the one I did of this and so I thought that was a good especially since I only do one a month but um but yeah so I do want to show you guys well by the time you see this video my new planning system will be up so you guys will know that I'm using the inkwell press the happy planner the recollections goals my personal recollections, which is basic, my personal the mini happy planner, which is in the recollections, basically is, is my is a life my life planner just kind of shrunken down, so it's kind of like the same thing. And then my mini happy planner for tracking my moods. Those are the only planners that I'm using. Um, it's just a good system for me. But you guys have already have seen that video, you know exactly what I mean. So yeah, I'm going to see. Um, I'm gonna track my mood for this morning, how I'm feeling. And then I'm going to look in my, um, the happy planner and then look at my goals and I'll be back. So here we are in, um, my happy planner and can you believe all of this has been done? Um, most of my work is done today. I do have a live stream at 3.30. I need to upload how I plan a month. It was filmed last week. It will be up on Wednesday. I also need to film my new planning system. I was going to film my, um, experience with being partnered but that is going to be on Wednesday um let me just write that you guys know me I am not a person who needs to keep things neat in my planner things get crossed out there's sloppy handwriting as long as I can read it and I can understand it that is all that matters I'm not a person that keeps things pretty 
for Instagram or for YouTube or whatever. So Monday is pretty much done as far as work goes. So I will film this sometime today, sometime before my girls get out of school. And I will start uploading this in a few minutes here. And yeah, that is pretty much my Monday. And you guys can just see how it looks um, now because it was um, when I did my plan with me video, which you guys will, it'll be a week old, over a week old by the time you see this. You see, I put these stickers down, but I didn't write anything until later because sometimes you don't need to write everything in the plan with me just so people can get the gist of it. But yeah, and there's my January at a glance. It's messy. It is what it is. This is real life. <laughs> um, but yeah, I already have February filled out and everything's a lot more neater than this right now because I haven't filled all this up and crossed things out because things will get crossed out. But yeah, um, I'm going to see what's going on for my goals today and let you guys know how that's going. So this is my goals planner. And by the time you see this, you already seen my new planning system. And basically what I started doing is incorporating my breakfast, lunch, and dinner and my workouts in here. That way it's like a three in one system. So I'm still doing my social media goals and I'm still doing personal goals and breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And when I work out, I only work out like twice, three times a week. So I felt like the fitness planner was just a kind of a waste. So just incorporating these just kind of keeps everything together. I don't mind a system like this. I just can't combine my entire life <laughs> into a planner. So, you know, do what works for you. But for breakfast, basically, I'm, I'm drinking coffee. Coffee is usually my breakfast. Is it the healthiest? No, it's not, but I do what I do. Um, But yeah, this is my goals for today. Inst making sure I go on Instagram, making sure I answer. I mean, I comment on a couple of Insta I mean, YouTube photos, cross posting, which I already did workout mood track and mini mania which i already did so i'm just going to cross that out and um, i did cross post already so this kind of just keeps me accountable it keeps me grounded keeps me humble i'm a huge fan of support those who support you you will hear me say that a lot in my various live streams i think it's important to always support the ones who like your photos who like your videos who comment because they don't have to do it. No one has to support you in your videos and Instagram. So I always make it a point to make sure I, I go on Instagram, you know, throughout the day and comment and make sure I respond to comments and everything. So yeah, that's this week. I was going to put this into an A5. I had actually punched all of January and February, but I don't like, I mean, you see how I mess up the holes, right? I just completely destroyed my page. Um, but I put February in the folder. And what I did is I moved the folder and stickers to the front. I just took the back and front cover off and moved it to the front. That way I can actually remember that there's stickers in here. So February is in that folder. But since it's not dated, I'm just going to use the next month for February. Because I'm pretty sure they'll come out with new tabs and everything. I mean, new planners by the time, you know, towards the last quarter of the year comes out. So I'm not, too, I'm not worried. That's what I love about undated planners. When you mess up, you can just kind of start all over. But yeah, these are the new recollections, um, stickers and everything that are out, the rose gold. So um, yeah, that is what my goals are for today. And my goal with this plan is always to just complete my goals, you know. So yeah, let's get started for this day. So, just a little, you know, behind the scenes. I'm, I just dropped a list off at school. Um, I'm making fun that she got in there. Um, so I'm getting ready to go home and I'm going to um, clean up a little bit. I'm going to, you know, sweep the floors and everything and mainly clean the kitchen. The, um, the kitchen is very open. We have an open floor fan, so the kitchen is the part of the most high traffic room in our house. And so there's always, um, you know, the, and our floors are very light, so there's always mop that needs to be done. So I'm going to get that situated and sweep the floors and everything. And then what I'm going to do, since I have a car this morning, I may take a trip to Michael's. Is that a guarantee that I will walk out with anything? No. Um, but I figured I'd go um, just to see what they have. And I figured I'd go in the morning while I'm people are at work on the deal with the crowds and whatnot. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, if I get anything, it'll be in my live stream later on today. I just... Now when I do hauls, I know people want to see them right away. So I don't want to 
film it, then edit it, and upload it two days later. I know you guys want to see it when I do hauls. So now when I do hauls, I just do live streams. And so it, it just makes it a lot easier and you guys can interact. And if you have questions, I can flip through something or I can show you something or whatever. It's, it's just a lot easier that way. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go home and clean up. And then when I get home, I'm going to work out. So I kind of got it all planned out. Sorry, I'm not looking at the thing because it's way over here. I have it landscape actually you know obviously so um yeah i'm gonna get home and clean up and then get to michael's and if i find something i'll show in this video because by the time you see it it'll be old news so i made sure to find my mom a planner she met she like jokingly said she wanted a planner because she she never expects us to buy anything i was like yeah i'll buy you one Sorry, um but i i think she may want one to fit her paul her paul her um her purse can we talk today, Kristen? So I may get her um, the zipper one or just the, you know, the one with the pockets in it in case she wants to use it as a wallet. So we'll see what I come up with. Let's see. All right. Let me do what I got to do. So we have a clean kitchen. I'm off the floor. And we also have a made bed. I completed my goal of making my bed. So, I am on the way to go to Michael's, and there's also an Office Depot in the same area, so I might see if I can get some more of these tool pens. And I need to pick up my meds from CVS that's on the way back home, so if I pick up some stuff, I'll let you guys know what I got. Well, this is what I got my mom because I'm going to drop it off to her. I got this thoughts book because she loves to journal. Um, I got her this pin case for the A5, and I got her these inserts, and then I got her this floral A5 planner, and I got, where is it, the washi to go with it. So I got just stuff that would match, and I know she loves flowers, so that is what she got. I will show what I got when I get home, <laughs> so let me go on to Office Depot. So this is what I got from Michaels. I did get the quotes book after thinking I didn't want it because I was like it's just full of quotes but there are some cute little quotes in here and there are a few stickers um, that you can actually write on so I was like okay like I love the double boxes so I got these and yeah and I picked that up and I got these traveler's notebooks it's not by recollections it's by Molly and Rex and you get three traveler's notebooks in here and then you get the actual cover which is by the same company, Molly and Rex, right there. And there's a SKU number in case you guys want to check that out. And this is the SKU number for the notebooks. Where are you? So you guys can pause that, pause that write it down. And these are the designs. And I'll open these up in my live stream later on today. Um, this, like this, okay. If you saw the other Traveler's Notebooks, these are wider and the material it's still that rubbery feel it feels a little bit better quality though and you do get this in here like this plastic cover to protect the books you do get four strings in here versus the one string the other ones had um, and you do get two snaps and this is the bikes so I got that to match it it is a cute um, idea I don't know if I'm going to use this, but I mainly got it just to film a video. So that's what I got for Michael's today. Yeah, I'm a little, looking a little crazy right now. I am getting ready to edit this video and upload it. And while it's uploaded, I'm going to have some much needed self care on the couch and watch some TV while I eat my leftover lemon pepper wings from Wingstop. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be chilling until about 3.30. Well, no, actually 2.30 when Alyssa gets out of school, but I'll be chilling for about I don't know, about an hour and 50 minutes, almost two hours. So, yeah, I will see. Um, I probably will not be back until tomorrow, basically, because I don't want this, this, there's already enough clips for today. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Well, it's day two of the week in the life of Kristen. And, yes, I'm wearing the same thing I had yesterday. They are pajamas. Um, but anyway, I'm just in bed today. I'm kind of, I'm not really doing much work today. Um, I just need to batch photos for both of my half weeks and washi Wednesday and 
that won't take very long. So those photos will be ready to go tomorrow. Um, and I just got done doing an Instagram live stream. And that's fun as always. And last night I had a live stream. And yesterday was kind of cut short. Just because, you know, I don't want to put any unnecessary footage in here that shouldn't be in here. You know, if I'm not doing anything, I'm not going to vlog it. <laughs> you know. Um, but I will show you what's going on on my bed right now. Because I'm just chilling in my bed. So I will show you guys. Um, I just have my inkwell press here right now. And I have my work planner. And the only thing I have to do for work today is just batch photos that's it it's empty <laughs> um but this is what tuesday looks like my husband comes back today blue can empty the live stream was yesterday and it says it says look in the happy planner looking goals self-care step away step away from the computer um mood tracking which i'm about to do habit um clean my closet today that'll be later on call dentist for teeth widening that was for aaron i already did that so, looks like a lot, but I've already done that one. I know my goals are already, um, I do need to work out today too. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty easy as far as work goes. I just have a couple little things I need to do around the house. And that's basically it. But I do need to um, mood track. So, I need to do that while it's on my mind and everything. And I do want to show you guys these really, really cute stickers that... Um, a friend sent me her name is Maggie and I'm gonna show you um, the sticker she sent me for you know mental health okay so she sent me eight of these stickers depression anxiety mood and there's eight of them and there's one of the, but I what I decided to do is just use it for the week and kind of just um, you know circle the number how my week went as far as depression anxiety goes and if there's different numbers um, I can just kind of explain it down here. Instead of just putting one for each day, I thought it would just be good to put one for the week. That way I get eight weeks worth. But the, I thought these were really cute because you can put like how your how my moods were for that week and everything. And it's kind of, I can just look over here and kind of get an overview for my week. And so I thought these, these were cute. She also sent me this cute little white pom-pom. I just added it to my bag. I just love this bag. It's from Forever 21. Um, and they're kind of, you know, I like when the bag, when there's like, just a bunch going on with the bag and oh it came off what happened let's fix it okay it's all fixed <laughs> it just came off the thing I was like what happened no um but yeah she got this from Michaels and look how cute these lilies but I just thought it was really cute on this tiny bag like look how cute that is but yeah I'm just chilling here on the bed about to do some mood tracking and see what the day has in store for me Good morning, it's Wednesday. Yesterday's video was extremely short. <laughs> Not much happened. Actually, this whole week in the life is actually going to be a shorter video than last month. I think because I didn't really, um, I hadn't done it before. And so, I wanted to show you guys like how I use my planners and everything. And you guys pretty much know um, how I use my planners based on that video. And... You saw how I use my inkwell press and my happy planner um, and my goals and whatnot so that's where we are uh, yesterday was like just a major self-care day I lounged around didn't really do I didn't do like any work I didn't even do like my social media goals and that's okay um, I think it's good to take care of yourself and get back to you or whatever I did do a live stream yesterday which is always fun um, right now, what I'm doing is I'm making Alyssa some breakfast. Um, she wants a bacon sandwich, so that's what we're going to make. And, um, I plan on playing that, um, and, like, putting my dishes in the dishwasher and whatnot, and cleaning up a little bit. It's going to be some more self-care. I think, um, you know, once I, once I try to get my household duties done or whatever, I just do some, I just take some self-care and take care of myself. I don't think there's a such thing as too much self-care, you know. I think there's a difference between bits being lazy and not doing anything, you know. Um, but self-care, I think as long as you, you know, you do what you need to do, it's okay to take a break and not do anything. It's perfectly fine. So, yeah, let me get ready for school. And then I will show you guys, um, after I get done with her and take her to school, I will show you guys what my planner is looking like for the day. 
So this is what today is looking like. Alyssa out early, take all the trash out, which I just did and set out trash, I just did. So we can cross this out. And I did washi Wednesday and half week already. I already looked in the planner, in my planner, I looked at my goals, workout and mood track. I did that already, I need to put um, my habit, there's a habit tracker in here at the beginning of the month. Let's show you what it looks like. There's a habit tracker right there. And I forgot to take my meds yesterday, so we've got to remember to take my meds today. Um, and so it's just telling me to remember to cross off my mood tracking. And I like that the, it has this, because you can basically write what you want to write down for your mood tracking, and, I mean your habit tracking, and you can do, you can make it different each month. So here's back to the week that we're on. Uh, I didn't fill out a top three today. I'm probably going to fill out in a minute just to make sure things I get done. Um, but yeah, that's how today is looking. And this is my work planner. And basically what we have today is I've done all of this stuff already. And it said film my experience with being partnered on YouTube. That video is not going up until next Friday. So what I basically did is just said I'm going to film it on Friday because I like to put my videos just a week in advance. So a week and a half is still a good time frame, but as long as I get it filmed Friday, that gives me enough time to edit over the weekend and get it scheduled to go next week. Um, but yeah, basically these two days, there's a bunch of self-care. I'll get back to doing my stuff tomorrow once I focus on myself and everything. And so that is that. Um, so that's basically it. I'm just gonna um, mop the kitchen floor and mop the hallway where the girls are and get back into um what i need to do for the day i want to talk here for a minute um you know with when you do social media you know like mostly youtube you have to have thick skin when you decide to put your face on camera and you know put yourself out there like that i pretty much have thick skin you guys know that i have my fair share of comments and everything i just deal with it you know i'm just like Block, delete, and block, delete. And let me turn this around. Um, are, we, are we upside down? Anyway. Um, I've had my fair share of comments. Uh, but most recently, and this, you know, by the time you guys see this, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's, some people can take shit way too far, you know, by bringing my children or my husband into it, which is very uncalled for. And, you know, I have thick skin. Like, I haven't responded to this person the way that she wants me to respond, I'm not gonna have a huge blow up. I'm not gonna sit here and stoop to her level because that's what she wants me to do. And people know that I'm very protective of my husband and my kids, so her saying that stuff, did, she did it with an intent to get me to react a certain way and I'm not gonna do it. Um, you know, it's not gonna stop me from doing my streams. It's not gonna stop me from doing YouTube. It's what I love to do. And until that day happens I'm still gonna do what I want to do uh, um to me it's it's not that serious and the thing she was I and mean, the stuff she was saying was like irritating yes but laughable at the most because the insults were like shit you would say in elementary school to like to offend somebody you know like oh my god like like your mama jokes basically that's the equivalent and so it was hilarious and I let me tell you I have some of the best subscribers and best followers because like, I didn't really have to defend myself. I didn't have to defend myself, really. People went in there and did it for me. Um, and I'm just like, I did respond to a couple of them, but not like she wanted me to respond to them. I basically was just like, oh, you know, do you feel better about yourself? Now that you got this out, you know, um, you, know you know, I just, I wasn't going to stoop to her level and dissect her comments and come on and be like, you know, um, this, that, and how dare, you know, you know that's what she, that's what she wants me to do. But, you know, someone told me, actually a couple people told me, some friends of mine were like, you know, the, the more subscribers you get, the more views you're going to get these types of people. And she was right. And it's, I mean, it's going to happen, you know, and this is up to you or up to me to say, you know what, Kristen, it is what it is. It comes to the territory and you just, you know, you can either let it overcome you and let these people win and stop you from doing what you want to do or just continue and just say you know what 
So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to continue to do what I want to do, continue what I love to do, and just keep it moving because there's no reason for me to sit up here and cry about it because trust me, Kristen ain't crying over anything that this woman says because it's ridiculous. It, the comments are ridiculous. It's just, um, are, are the comments below the belt? Yeah, they are. But it's ridiculous. It's hilarious because, I mean, I always say if you're going to insult me, please learn how to spell. If you're going to, I mean, insult me, please use punctuation and use commas because you just end up looking stupid. I don't, you know, and I left the comments up. Usually I'm a, I'm a block and delete person. But I left the comments up to show what type of person she is. That's why I left them up. And so, is it petty of me to do it? Probably is. But, um, but you know, it is what it is. But I just wanted to come on and say that. You know, I'm not going anywhere. Y'all, she ain't, she ain't, ain't nobody winning that easily. You know, there, it's going to take more than a couple of comments to get me off of the tube. <laughs> so, yeah, let me get into what I need to get into and... Um, I'll see y'all later. Well, I just got done doing next week in my happy planner decorated. I used the color story one and this is a bright rainbow theme. I liked it because, you know, the current week that we're on is, you know, the watercolor, the pastels, and I wanted something a little bit more bright. Um, I like this has a lot of color, but it's all functional. So you guys know me. And so that is next week. And by the time you see this, this will be... The current week and this is what I did for next week in the inkwell press my husband's annual party is next week so I took this out of the quotes sticker book and put who what where and when so I thought that was a cute sticker and I love how the happy planner stickers just fit in here perfectly and I put this one drink the coffee do the things these are doll boxes so I can easily just write you know I'll put like put a line here and write for both days so it doesn't take away from any space I put a camera photo here because I need to batch photos. So that's going to remind me to do that. I like this quote. Um, but yeah, you guys know it didn't take away from anything that I need to do. That's how I like to do my spreads. Purely functional. So yeah, um, I'm going to take pictures in these before I actually plan on them. I just want to get them out the way because I plan on um, batching some photos for these spreads probably Friday. And I just wanted to get the decorating out of the way. But I do love how both of these turned out. So, yeah, I already finished um, the housework that I needed to do. So I'm going to sit up here and I'm going to watch a little bit of TV. And I'll probably take a small little nap. And then wake up and eat some lunch. Sky is so pretty right now. Very nice. So I'm walking and pick up Alyssa from school, you know, and touching on what I touched on earlier, you know, um, you gotta have, you know, thick skin to be on YouTube, you know, and, you know, by the time you see this, you guys probably know all the comments I'm talking about, and, you know, even what she said was like, you know, below the belt and everything, I can't let that get to me, you know, I just, first, first off, it was hilarious, and not what she said, it was hilarious because I couldn't. I had to like dissect it because there's just no punctuation. And if you're going to, I mean, if you're, please, if you're going to, if you want to insult me, please get some punctuation and proper word uses. But anyway, um, but another thing I want to let you guys know, um, you guys hear me mention in my live streams a lot that I am friends with Alexis, Brett, Jada, and we're like the four musketeers, right? And it's because of this community that we became friends. And, um, you know, we, we talk about all types of stuff and we, we can be petty together and we can talk about serious stuff and everything. But I, I just want to let y'all know that because we're friends, please do not try to get bold and message one of them and try to talk shit about either one of us because we're going to find out. That's just how it is. And because someone tried to get bold, the same person, you know, try to get bold and, and message Britt. Like, Britt wasn't going to send me screenshots. Like, why, why do y'all do this? Why do y'all just keep digging holes? But I just want to just let you know that, that when you have friends that are your friends, you stick up for them, you let them know that, okay, I don't know why you're telling me this because I'm going to tell her everything. Um, that's how your friends should be, whether it's online or in real life or whatever. I don't want to say real because, like, online is real life. I mean, online, offline. That's what I mean. Um, you should stick up for your friends. You should let somebody know that, look, I you can be mad at them or whatever, but please don't drag me into it. And because you drag me into it, I'm going to tell her everything you said. Um, that type of thing. 
but yeah, y'all, um, it comes to the territory of being on YouTube that to get the messages and the comments, and it's, you gotta, you gotta let that shit roll off your back, you know, you gotta let that shit just slide, because, you know, um, this whole hate comment thing is new to me, you know, I, I haven't always gotten these comments, but as more people follow me on Instagram, they kind of just go over to YouTube, or they come over from YouTube to Instagram, and I get more subscribers, I get more viewers. Do I have a ton of viewers and subscribers? No. Not if you include the entire world of YouTube and Instagram. But for me, for me, it's a lot because I have never had this many before. So I have to just say, you know what? What is one person's comment out of the hundreds of people that support me? What's What's better to think about that one comment or everybody else's positive ones, you know? But like I said earlier, I have the best subscribers and followers because they came in and were like, look, what are you talking about? <laughs> but anyway, I'll listen to some music while I pick up the child and I will see you guys later. So tonight we're going to have a nice green salad with tomato, some onion, and I'm going to make a fettuccine Alfredo, chicken fettuccine Alfredo gonna be a nice simple dinner nothing too over the top I just poured myself a nice cup of coffee some iced coffee and yes I drink coffee in the afternoon I usually stop drinking it around maybe four <laughs> um, late in the date but um, I'll take a Benadryl to put me to sleep if it's really that serious um, but yeah you guys have seen this many times I have the Ninja um, Coffee Bar, which me and my husband absolutely love. Any drink you want at Starbucks, you can make in this thing. Uh, yeah, and this is a frother. I had a frother before and I broke it because I thought this was plastic and I threw it in the sink. So we went a couple of months without having one and so I finally ordered another one along with another carafe because my carafe broke. It was a crack in the bottom. And so I just decided to order this too. So I got my nice cup of coffee. Uh, with half and half some Splenda and this lovely, amazing um, Cold Stone Sweet, Sweet Cream by International Delight. And I, I love that. It's going to be a staple I keep. My husband loves French Vanilla. And I'm, go I'm trying to go through all of these chocolate ones. But I think this is going to be a staple in the fridge. The French Vanilla and probably um, the Sugar Cookie. The chocolate ones are good, but they're, or, oh, the caramel macchiato. I'm definitely going to keep that one. Um, but it's great to try different ones and all of that. So I'm getting ready to cook some dinner. And I will show you, um, you know, what it looks like when it's all done. It is the chicken alfredo, all fish. Looks really, really good. I'm going to eat this, and then I'm going to end my night. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Hello. Good morning. It's Thursday day four of a week in the life and right now um, Alyssa is eating breakfast and I just put the dishes in the dishwasher so that's what you hear um, I had a really good sleep no 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 until about 4 a.m. it was like 4 a.m. And, and I saw like a kitchen light on and I was like what is going on and I got up and Haley was up getting something to drink and the reason she was up at 4 because she had went to sleep at like 6 o'clock yesterday evening so she was like wide awake and I told her I was trying to get, go back to sleep because she had to get up at six you know so all is good um today I'm doing a live stream instead of tomorrow I usually do them on Fridays for my girls night in um but Haley has an ortho appointment like at 4 30 and usually my live streams are longer than an hour so I'm doing it today um you know if something happens and I can do I can do one late tomorrow I might do that but I'm just gonna do one today and you know by the time you guys see this oh I should have already happened but um, I'm just gonna address some stuff and it's gonna be like serious for a couple of minutes because like the stuff that's been going on in my comment section since Sunday here we are Thursday and it's still going is just like it's ridiculous it's gone too far uh, it's over the line way over like she didn't cross that she jumped over it and kept going and it's very um it's very creepy at this point when i say creepy it's because of by the time you see me she don't know what i'm talking about it's like all the stuff that the lengths that she's gone through to just see what i'm doing on my social media and it's 
like who has this much time? Why are you invested into a stranger that you know nothing about this much? Like why do you need validation from this person that much that you will have several accounts follow me on my planning account and my personal account? Like this is, it's crazy. So I'm gonna address that and I'm just gonna, um, you know, just be like, you know what, this is not, uh, this is not going to keep continue. It's got to stop. So yeah, um, I, I really don't have much work to do today. Um, I already, my video to go to mo for tomorrow is already uploaded. Um, I do need to edit a video today actually, um, to go up on Monday, um, which is my, my new planning system. That will be up on Monday, and that will be an interesting one. Um, and then a week in the life, this one you guys seen up on Wednesday, and then um, tomorrow I'm going to film uh, my experience with being partnered on YouTube, like a third party, third party partner. I want to talk about that, the, the benefits and everything. Cause there's no, I can't think of any cons. So yeah, uh, so I'm gonna finish. Um, checking on Alyssa, making sure you know she's getting dressed and brushing her teeth and all that stuff. And I uh, will check back in later. Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday, the last day of the week in life. I only filmed like once <laughs> yesterday. Yesterday was like interesting. If you saw my live stream last week when you're watching this, I um, you know what I'm talking about. It was just mentally draining, and um, I was like, I felt like I was in the twilight zone, but it was real life, and I mean. Everything that happened just kind of proved to me that people are just seriously delusional and deflect and, you know, the thing about it is, well, first off, I've never seen someone so delusional in my life. It was crazy. It was just like, I was like in complete shock the entire time that she was typing and like, and what people don't know is that she wanted to talk to me in my DMs and so... I decide, I told her where she needs to unblock me because she blocked me because of course I did something wrong. I said, well, you know, I was telling Brad, I was like, well, she needs to unblock me. And then I, I mean, maybe because like the people in my stream, they were sticking up for me, but it was like over the top. It was like a lot of comments coming at her. And so I'm thinking, okay, maybe it was just a lot of comments coming at her and she just wants to talk to me one-on-one. -on -one, so I will do that. Um, so she came into my um, DMs and started to talk and it was the same thing. It, there was no accountability, there was no, there was nothing, you know, there was nothing, no responsibility, nothing. She kept going on and on about a comment I didn't make and I'm just like, you know, um, how can you not take responsibility? And I was trying to, you know, tell her all the things and all the stuff that took place and she's just like, you know, people attack my daughter, and I'm just like, you know, your daughter started this. Your daughter came into my comments first and was very, very rude and disrespectful, way over the line, and she doesn't see how she and her daughter played the role in this. It, for some reason, she thinks that we just came after them and attacked them for no reason. And you guys know me, I'm not like that. I don't just go after people for no reason. You know, I don't go after people. Um, and she, for what, in her delusional mind, she thinks this is what happened. And so I just, I blocked her. I said, I don't have time. Um, the fact that it's, it's gone on for this long is, is ridiculous. And it's not like I kept it going. It's that her daughter kept it going. And I finally thought, okay, I'm just going to end it with, you know, let me do my, this last live stream. And, you know, I know what I said. I am not going to mention this woman's name <laughs> anymore in this stream because that's, you know, she wants the attention and she got a lot of it yesterday. But... I can't waste any more energy on this. I'm going to put my energy into more positive shit, 
and focus on that because it's wasting time on negative energy is just is is pointless and I could be doing other things so um, as of today I do need to film a video about um, that'll be up by the time you watch this in two days um, my experience with being partnered with a third party partner with YouTube and try to give you guys some tips and like the benefits and everything that'll be filmed today um, my video will go live in a couple of minutes no in about 30 minutes my current favorites um, and today I haven't really done a lot of work in the last couple of days um, because I'm gonna let you guys know now. like dealing with this woman and the stress like it, it was mentally it's draining mentally draining and like people don't realize that words can take a toll on people and even though I was like you know you know she I didn't give her the response she wanted online I didn't um, because what was what would be the point but like you know you talked about my husband you talked about my kids you know that's when you know that's when I you kind of get stressed out so I'm gonna you know catch up on some social media watch some YouTube videos and just do like you know focus on work today um, and get some things done like put my put my energy into something that I love doing which is doing pro productivity so um, I'm going to show you guys what's going on for today in my planners so it is Friday um, fun corner Friday I'm gonna edit that photo in a minute girls night in my live stream was yesterday I don't know if I'm going to do a stream today also um, I don't know in a little bit <laughs> uh, if I want to do one um, date night with for me and my husband um, Haley's ortho appointment actually got moved to tomorrow it says workout. I haven't worked all this week, but I've really just been watching what I eat and I still lost weight because it's all about losing weight. But working out kind of just, you know, tones you up, um, you know, look in my habit tracker and film videos. So that's what's going on today. And this is what's going on tomorrow since you guys will not see me talk about this. Haley has her ortho at 2.30 and Haley's psych appointment is at 12.45. So we'll get out at 1.45 and get out in time to go to her psych appointment and I need to edit a week in the life and then batch photos um, so that's how my week is looking you know this is what a real planner looks like <laughs> you know it's messy things are crossed out you know this is sorry y'all my alarm clock interrupted me because I was up way before my alarm um, but this is what a real planner looks like you know uh, things are crossed off um, it's messy I don't have like super neat handwriting and that's not the point, you know, I just need to get things done. So yeah, that's what this week, was. and I've, I haven't really, I started filling out um, next week already. Not much. I try to wait until I kind of get closer to next week to start filling things out. But these are the things I know that's happening for sure. Um, my husband's annual party is next week, a week from today. So I'm excited about that. Um, but these are all the things I just know that's happening. Um, I need to put like when I need to do work related things in here. I'll do that a little bit later on. Um, but yeah, I like how this came out. All these stickers are from the quote book and, um, I really like how it all turned out and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in the happy planner for today and the happy planner today, um, fun corner Friday current fave is going to go live in a week in a life um film my experience plan next week which i already did um take photos of the mini um for mini mini a monday um i don't know why i wrote plan next week twice i don't really know uh, and i did start filling out next week in here and i will show you what it looks like um i did start filling it out <laughs> You guys know I love these double boxes for next week, but for whatever reason, um, I was, I don't know why I put down the stuff that's going on this week <laughs> for next week. So, um, my foundation routine will be, uh, next week and then plan with me, inkwell press, uh, cooking with Kristen, because you guys have not seen a plan with me in my inkwell press planner yet. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. Um, but this is what's going on 
for the week that we're currently on because you're watching this video um you know um new planning system you guys already saw that and everything and um this is just what's going on so far you guys know i have a lot of space but i add things as i think of ideas or think of things that i need to do um that's what's going on i forgot to put the live stream right there so i can put that like down here see what i mean about more space because you, when you forget stuff you got to put things down so that's what's going on um for next week and not not a whole lot but a lot um but yeah i need to go get um Haley up for school and i'll see you guys in a little bit oh i forgot to show what next week in my mini looks like i did i used the rainbow um sticker book um from mandy and I've used the rainbow sticker book in my goals planner before, and I really love how that turned out. So I did it again here. And, you know, just red, orange, yellow, green, blue, um, turquoise, and violet. And I put that hot pink right there. The hot pink throws me off because when you, in the sticker book, it's after red. And pink is not after red in the rainbow. You know, I have, that's, I have a gripe about the Mabby sticker books, like when they put like a bunch of different stickers, like the productivity ones. There's no real theme to them. I love them, but there's no real theme. Um, but anyway, I put the pink down here to, just so it would get used. But, um, you know, as you can see, there's still a lot of room to write. And I, and I like how this turned out. So I'll be taking pictures of this um, today when the sun comes out. And I like how it turned out. It's just very cute and very simple. And now I can go get my daughter up. <laughs> so um, I'm going to film my experience. I lost my train of thought. My YouTube experience, partner experience, I mean, and my foundation routine. Since tonight is date night, I figured just film my foundation routine as I'm getting ready. And that is going to be up not next week, but the week after. I just want to get it out of the way because I'm a you know, fan of doing things in advance. Um, so I can just get that out of the way. And tonight is going to be a live stream. I wanted to do another live stream to kind of lighten the mood from yesterday's live stream. Yesterday's live stream was a lot. I mean, a whole lot. Um, so tonight is going to be a lighthearted one. I'm going to make it like a Q&A type of thing. So you guys can ask me questions. And I, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I think it will um, work out great. And... I, I'm just going to get a lot of work done today. So, yeah. Also, I don't know why this is right here. <laughs> Cooking Alyssa. Ooh, it's done. Um, she likes the panini just with bacon on it. So, her food is done. And I'm going to get a plate. Paper plates. Um, so she can eat. And then get dressed for school. Oops, like what are we doing? Yeah, it's a, it's a little burnt, but it's a little darker than I usually cook it, and I, I can't see if I just why it's so hard with it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'll plug this. This panini maker is by Hamilton Beach, and I got it from Walmart for 29 bucks. Best $29 ever. It works really well. Um, I've, I've grilled chicken on here um, for panini sandwiches, and it's a panini press. Um, but you can cook, um, you know, you can grill stuff on here just because it's a panini press doesn't mean you can't grill anything. There's a thing over here where you can make it, um, like if you're cooking like a thick burger or something, you can do it um, where it, it sits higher. So it like sits up like that or something. So I really like it. Only 29 bucks at um, Walmart. So let me take these to Alyssa. So today is Friday the 13th and I didn't even realize it until my friend Tiffany pointed it out to me. So today is going to be a Friday the 13th marathon because it's only right that I do this. Um, I usually do it every Friday the 13th, just have a marathon of all the Friday the 13th that I have. Um, and it's always just fun to just binge watch the numerous, very cheesy <laughs> Friday the 13th movies they have. Um, this is part one where the mama is the killer. And so, you know, we don't get introduced to Jason until the second one. But, um, yeah, I'm doing this. I'm just cleaning up my house, and I'll be getting some work done while this is background noise. 
So I am getting ready to decorate next week in my goals planner. I'm going to be using the productivity sticker pack from Mambi, and I'm using these four washies. Um, I'm going to cover up this. Um, I think I mentioned this. I'm not sure. I tried to put this in my A5, and I was like, no. It, it turned out horrible, so I'm going to washi over these and put some stickers. Um, but I will show what this looks like when it's done. I am using this for just goals, personal goals, social media goals, and, you know, and um, weight loss goals, all of that. So I'm going to section it off um, how I want to do it and everything, and I will show you guys what it looks like when it's done so you can see exactly how I, how I am setting this up. So this is what it looks like after it's done. I like how it came out. I do like how it came out. Um, I used a productivity sticker pack. And what I did is I left this side for social media and everything PWK related. And this is all personal. Um, I just put workout for three days next week um, and self-care for every single day because I like to take at least 30 minutes of self-care. And I do have room in case I want to add anything else in there for just personal goals. And this side is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So this will help me keep track of my food. And I love how... I kind of just separated this. I got this idea from Anna and Planner. No, not Anna and Planner. Sorry. That is another idea I got from another Instagram person. Um, that girl, Sparkle, um, she does this with her planner um, by separating it and using this as a life planner. So that works for her, but this is just goals. But I do like how this turned out. I do need to get my camera and take pictures of this spread and my mini spread and, um, batch those and edit them so they're ready to go for next week so i am going to get some more work done but just wanted to get this out of the way so i am getting ready to film my foundation routine there's a foundation right there um this video will be up next month the time you're watching this it'll be up next monday um so i figure i would just do my entire face in the video but just basically concentrate on the whole foundation routine aspect of it all and so I hope you guys enjoy it. I just got done. Okay, this is for right Okay. Um, I just got done filming my foundation routine, so there we go. Um, I'm gonna do my hair here here in a bit because I gotta film um my experience with being partnered on YouTube, and I'm just gonna put on my shirt that I'm wearing for my date night tonight and then take it off when I'm done because I'm not gonna walk to pick up my dog from school with my date night clothing. So I'm just going to put it on for the sake of the video and then take it back off. Um, what was I going to say? I don't remember. But um, you guys are going to think like <laughs> the video is sponsored by Maybelline and it's not. I just use a lot of Maybelline products. Um, but yeah, this is the outcome. I decided just to do my entire face for the whole video because it, it made sense. So yeah, i um, going to go export this footage so I can free up my card. And then I'm going to do my hair for my video. So I just finished filming um, my partnership experience video. You see my tripod back there. Uh, I have my shirt on. You see me with my <laughs> workout pants on. I am getting ready to take this shirt off um, so I can take some stuff out to the trash and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I've got my two videos knocked out of the way. I took my photos and done with work for the day and I'm good it's a lot of relaxing it's only 11 43 how did Kristen get all this done before noon um but yeah I'm um, nothing much going on um I'm probably going to end this here because nothing else is really going on you know I'm going to kill some time and everything and then I got to pick up Alyssa from school and then my live stream today is at 3 30 and everything and so um I just want to say I hope you guys enjoyed this month's A Week in the Life. It was a little more personal than it was work, and you guys can let me know if you like that, because I know last month was all like work, and this month I tried to incorporate a, a few personal things in there so you guys can see how I live my day-to-day, -day. also while, you know, talking about planners and whatnot. But, um, yeah, I'm going to end this here, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, let me know, and I will continue to do them. But I will see you all next time. Bye.